Welcome, in this video we are taking a step further with cross-origin resource sharing or course. We are going to extend our project with Spring Security. More info about cores and Spring Security can be found on the following website. The link can be found in the description below the video. We continue in this video with the code from the previous video. We extend our project with a third application. Starting we do as usual with the POM XML file. The version of Spring Boot is now 3.0.5 with the following dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Security and Spring Boot Starter Web. In the application properties, we have Sever Port 9999. Furthermore, we have the course controller with a method that returns Spring Boot Course Security from HTTP localhost 9999. And finally, the security config class with an in-memory user details manager bean, the security filter chain bean, and the course configuration source bean. In the security filter chain bean, we have cores with defaults. Authorize HTTP requests any request authenticated. And HTTP basic with defaults. The course configuration source bean is the configuration with set allowed origins, set allowed methods, set allowed headers and the registry cores configuration. To test everything, we modified the index.html file from the first video with a third fetch. This fetch has an additional header for authorization. We can now launch the three projects and look at the result in the browser. After we get the three projects started, we can test everything out. We first check localhost 8080 we get the expected results. After that we also look at 127.0.0.18080. Again we get the expected results. This was it for this video. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.